What's going on everybody? The topic of today's video is how bad do you want it? So I want to start today's video off with a quote that I heard or I should say listened to in an audio book called Built by Titans by Tim Ferriss that I just heard and let me give you that quote now. You must want to become a butterfly so bad that you give up being a caterpillar. I will say that for you guys one more time. You must want to become a butterfly so bad that you give up being a caterpillar. Now, to me, what a powerful way for Tim Ferriss to end this book built by Titans. So this book is basically his journey of you know, starting his podcast, starting becoming an angel investor, writing the four hour work week. And it's basically a collection of all of these really prominent people. A lot of them are business people. A lot of them are leaders in their field. So there's people in the book that are like Jocko Willink and Tony Robbins, um, Jamie Foxx. I'm like, I'm going to be forgetting a ton of them, but just extremely high achieving people. And he basically is just documenting their tools that they use to overcome challenges, to overcome adversity, to get them to that next state in life to become the best version of themselves. I mean, these are not just normal people that he is profiling in this and that he has, you know, on the Tim Ferriss show on his his podcast where he interviews these people and it's literally just a collection of all of these tools that people use to make their life the best that it can possibly be. And that quote at the end of the book just absolutely stood with me because it is so true. How bad do you want the things that you really want? You could say that you want something and you could even think that you want something, but your actions will define whether or not that is actually true or not because the people that want something versus the people who need something in their life operate on two completely different playing fields. So a want, you know, you might put in, you know, let's just say X number of effort or X amount of effort. Whereas If it is a need, it is a requirement, it is something you must have, not only are you gonna put in X amount of effort, but you're gonna also put in X, Y, and Z because it becomes a necessity. It is something that must happen in your life. So let's talk about this. Where can you apply it? How can you utilize this strategy to empower you to get the things you want and to begin living the lifestyle that you want? So I'm going to just give one very basic generic example here to kind of walk you guys through applying this strategy to your life. So let's just look at the journey of weight loss and getting your body to a point where it is physically fit and you are staying in a peak performance state. Well, you pretty much have to just get to the point to where you have let yourself go enough to the point where it's no longer like, oh, I I just, you know, I should really get in shape. I should probably start eating better. Ah, probably, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have this milkshake I'll do it next week, I'll start working out, and it, it'll be fine, it's no big deal. It needs to go from that to a, oh my God, if I don't take action right now, I am going to stay like this forever. So think about the quote at the beginning. You are going to stay a caterpillar forever 
If you rest on your laurels, if you get comfy, if you get complacent, so you have to want it bad enough that you are willing to put all of the limiting beliefs and fears behind you. And something that Jamie Foxx was actually quoted for saying in this book, and this is a lesson that he teaches to all of his children, and I absolutely loved this as well, is he said, what is, what is left behind fear? And the answer is nothing. There is nothing behind your fears once you conquer them. And I mean, oh my God, how powerful, how empowering you. The things that you are scared of right now, if you go into them, you know, a, a book that I recommend for all, all of you guys to read about, about stoicism is called The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday who actually Tim Ferriss was a mentor of Ryan Holiday's and he is an unbelievable writer and he narrates his own audio book. But that book, just the title, The Obstacle is the Way. Fear, that is the way. That is what you want to go into because behind the fear, there is nothing. There is nothing to be afraid of. So this is all about empowering you guys getting you to the point where things are no longer just like, okay, la di da di da I'll just wait till, you know, the best job pops up or, you know, better yet, I'm going to wait until, you know, that nine or 10 comes up to me and then we just fall in love. I'll just wait for it to happen. This is not about waiting for things to happen. This is about making things happen happen. Something that they talk about in this book that I think is so true, and I wrote this in the book that I am finishing up writing right now myself, is that, you know, you have to start taking action before you'll be inspired. So let's kind of break that down, right? Like everybody, even me, I will be the first person to admit it, especially as a musician and somebody who creates art. You can't wait for that moment of inspiration or like, oh gosh, I'm just not feeling creative right now. Oh man, I don't really have any ideas. And oh man, I'm just like, there's just no inspiration there. I just, I'm like writer's block, some people call it, whatever it might be. Well, that is a real thing for sure. The inspiration comes out of taking the action. So like right now, if I stop this video and I want to, um, you know, I'm not feeling super motivated to, to, to work on music or write any music, right? But I just sit down at the piano and like I just, you know, tinker around for a little bit. Eventually, the longer I sit there and the longer I tinker around and I am taking action then, the sooner an idea will come up, the sooner I will be in spirit, inspiration. Break it down into two words. I will be in spirit or inspired by taking action. That is where the ideas come from. It's almost those revelatory things. I've had this happen making music so many times before that it's like unbelievable. You're like, where did that just come from? Where did that idea or that note or that harmony or that melody, where did it come from? Because it seemed to have come from legitimately out of nowhere, inspiration, in spirit. That's where it came from. And it came because you took action, not because you were sitting on your ass waiting for things to happen in life, waiting for the best job to just land on your feet, waiting for the perfect guy or girl to just land at your feet. Oh my God, it's serendipitous. We're going to fall in love and be married. Not how it works, you guys. Not how I teach you to do it over here. I teach you guys to be doers. You've got to get out there. You've got to put in the time. If you want to meet, date, and get into a relationship with 
somebody who you view as a nine or a 10 on a scale of zero to 10 and on an attraction level, you gotta go out, you gotta put yourself out there, you gotta risk getting rejected. It's not even a risk, it's a guarantee. You're going to get rejected. That will get you one step closer. You'll start building your confidence. The more you do it, the more you start putting yourself out there. If you want to get the job that you know, you've know you been dreaming of having, you've got to put yourself out there. Taking the action, putting yourself in the actual mental state of doing rather than thinking about all the things that you want, that's it. That's how you take yourself from being a caterpillar to becoming a butterfly that you were meant to be. So. I would love to hear from you. What are the things that you have been trying to shed? Like what skin have you been trying to shed? Has it been like this mediocre relationship skin? Has it been like dealing with just mediocre friendships or family members? Or, you know, you've been settling at a job. What type of shed are you, excuse, excuse me, skin are you trying to shed? Let me know in the comments below. And then let me know what you plan to do to start taking action, to shed that skin, to become the butterfly. That is what my challenge is for you today. Now, if you want my help with doing that, with taking your dreams and making them a reality, I would love to hear from you. So you can get a hold of me by heading over to my website at thebalancedalpha.com, signing up for whatever coaching session works best for you there, but Remember, you must want to become a butterfly so bad that you are willing to not be a caterpillar. So with that being said, take care of yourself, stay balanced, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time.